We're here at the Tanegashima launch site where we're going to be launching the I6F1 satellite. Behind my left shoulder is the launch site. We're actually standing in the observation stand, which is about three kilometers away from the launch site. Things are looking really good for the launch day. We've made the weather assessments and we've determined that the weather on the 22nd of December is going to be absolutely perfect for us to launch our spacecraft. We've spent the last few weeks here in Tanegashimiya Island making sure that the spacecraft is ready for launch. We've made sure that it's passed its good health checks and then we've started the integration sequence with the launch vehicle. This means we've mated it with a payload adapter, with a payload support structure, and then finally encapsulated it in the fairing and put it on top of the launch vehicle. It's a pretty momentous moment for all of us. All of us that have worked many, many years on building the spacecraft. And it's really a special time for us to be able to see it go into orbit. Inmarsat 6 F1 is going to be launched in the Mitsubishi Heavy Industries H2A204 configuration launch vehicle. That means it has a two-stage engine and four SRVs in order to give enough power to get our very complex and very heavy spacecraft into orbit. Each SRB is filled with 66 tons of solid fuel and will be used in the initial ascent phase of the launch vehicle to provide that extra boost of power to take our very heavy spacecraft into orbit. A big thanks to Airbus Defense and Space for building the spacecraft and to Mitsubishi Heavy Industries for this magnificent rocket that we're going to be launching the spacecraft on. We are so excited to be here and we cannot wait to see this launch.